Hi, welcome to the video Spring Data JPA native query examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Zavarnet. In this video, you will learn what is native query, when using native query, and how to use native queries with Spring Data JPA. I'll show you some code examples about select native query, update native query, and how to use a buzzer nation with native query. So what is native query? You know, a native query is a SQL statement that is specific to a particular database, for example, MySQL. And a native query syntax differs slightly from JPQL or Java Persistence query language, which is used by Spring Data JPA by default. And generally, we should use native query when JPQL does not work. In other words, the query syntax not supported by JPQL, then we need to use native query. Now, I'd like to show you how to code a native query for select operation. Okay, you see, this is a Java Spring Boot project. You can see um, using uh, uh, Spring Data JPA and uh, uh, MySQL uh, JDBC driver. And in this project, I have the product entity class that maps uh, to the products table in the database. And you can see in the database MySQL, uh, I have the data in the products table like this, you see. Okay, and this is a standard uh, repository interface uh, flowing uh, JPA, you see. It extends the JPA or repository interface. And also I have a unit test class for testing the product or repository interface, you see. Now I want to uh, write a native query that uh, selects only products uh, with price uh, less than uh, 1000 USD. To do so, I update the product a repository interface here. I declare a new method public list uh, list collection uh, list of uh, product uh, red uh, products uh, with uh, minimum price minimum and in this method I uh, specify the parameter is the minimum price I use um, integer mean price and to write a custom native query use the annotation query uh, sp specify the query in the value attribute like this and you also need to specify the attribute native query equal to to tell spring that is JPA that uh, this query is native, it is not JPQL. And now uh, we should write a uh, SQL statement. Select uh, asterisk, select all from the uh, products table. Note that this is SQL statement, so I use the table name, uh, which is products instead of entity name product. So with native query, um, we should use the table name in the database. It is not the entity name because the query is native where price uh, greater than, sorry, where price less than the argument here. Yeah, so I can use name parameter mean price to select all the products. Uh, uh, having the price uh, less than a uh, specified amount. Sorry, I changed the method to max price. Max price is here, yeah, okay. And then I update the test class to test the method uh, get products with max price. It is using a native query, as you can see. Okay, I write another test method, test public void test uh, red products max price. 
and I specify a value for the max price is 1000 USD and call repo call the method uh, annotated with the native query get products with max price and it returns a list of products list products and I print each product in the return collection list uh, products uh, for each and I use uh, lambda expression okay to bring each uh, product object in the list collection okay now run this test method run this JUnit test You see the test is successful and it prints the uh, products uh, whose price less than uh, 1000 USD. You see. You see in the database we have some products whose price greater than 1000 USD here and uh, they are not included in the result here. Okay, so that's a very uh, simple example about writing uh, and executing a native query with Spring Data JPI, you need to use the query annotation and specify the native query uh, SQL statement in the value attribute. And note that you must specify the attribute uh, native query equal to. And in the native query, you can also specify name parameter like this. And this is a perfect example of using a native query you see uh, the search method is uh, annotated uh, with the query annotation and this is a native query for a full text search uh, it is uh, specific to my sql database because the syntax uh, match few names and against here is uh, specific to my sql database only uh, that's why uh, we need to use a native query and specify the attribute native query equal to here and you can see that uh, here I used name sorry index parameter the first parameter here uh, spring that data JPI we repress the actual value of the first uh, uh, parameter in the method here keyword okay and you can also see I used uh, pagination by passing the second parameter of type uh, page pole here and uh, you see uh, this is a service class uh, where the search method is used here you see it creates a page pole object uh, specifies the page number as the number of results per page or number of items per page and then call report dot search here passing the values of keyword and a pageable object now let me start this uh, Spring Boot application to test the search query I want to print a SQL statement show SQL true here ok ok the application has started and let me access is in Chrome browser. Okay, show me and and the keyword to search. For example, iPhone. You see the search result appears here. And enter another keyword. Oh, let me check the console. Let me search for the query match against okay you see this is a native query you see select asterisk from products where enable equal to and match against and you can see it appends the limit clause uh, for pagination you see now let me type another keyword 
for stand. And the series of result is paginated. Uh, there are three pages. I can go to the second page, third page, you see. Now let's come back to this example and uh, let me show you how to use uh, pagination for this native query. So just uh, specify the second parameter of Thai pageable or like this pageable from this package pageable and update the code for testing here. Before calling the method, I need to create a new pageable object like this pageable equal based request of and specify the page number and the page size uh, page number um, zero indicating the first page and the number of um, uh, items per page is five and passing the pageable object in the method called here pageable okay and uh, uh, run the test Okay, you see now it prints only the first page that contains five products. You see, uh, this is the first page, and I can change the parameter, the argument here, number one, to show the items on the second page, and run the test again. And you see the products in the second page. And note that you can specify the cow query, which is used for the pagination in the annotation here. For example, uh, specify the cow query, cow query here, which is used uh, for the pagination. But uh, by default, you don't need to specify the cow query as uh, spring data API that's the uh, pagination uh, under the scenes okay so this is a cow query and run the test again you see the same result Next, I'd like to show you how to uh, code and execute a native uh, update query. Okay, so I want to code a query that uh, updates the price of the products here. So I declare a new method here, public void update price uh, with a parameter integer, it is a amount. And I use the query, use a query annotation, and specify the native query in the attribute value, and specify that it is the native query equal to, and this is a update statement, update uh, products set price. I want to increase the price by the amount amount okay you see and uh, write a unit test here test update price it is the amount I want to increase uh, the price of um, each product by two okay and go repo Update price passing the amount number and run the test. Of course, this is a, a very simple example. You can do that uh, with JPQL. Okay, we got an error here. You see, 
uh, is uh, because uh, for the update query uh, we need to use uh, an additional annotation it is the uh, modifying annotation for the method and run the test again Mm, I think uh, something wrong in the query. It should be like this. Okay, and run the test again. Okay, successful, you see. It prints the update SQL statement here. And let me check the database. You see, all products uh, price have been updated. Okay, so that's uh, some examples uh, of uh, coding using executing a native query with a Spring Data API. Okay, so far you have learned what native query is when using native query and see some code examples using native query with Spring Data API. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.